Kukush. 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 <laughs> okay, guys. I'm sorry. I feel very swimmingly right now. My name is Tonic. Thank you for joining me today on my channel, Bang Bang Potato. Today, we're going to be playing an underwater exploration game called Subnautica. And this also takes place on a foreign planet somewhere. I don't know. I don't know much about it yet. Still learning. But that's the gist of it. And I would like to thank the developer for allowing me to have a key to play this for you guys here on YouTube. And I hope you enjoy this video and the videos to follow. Today, I just want to try it out. Get my feet wet, as they say. No pun intended. And we're going to give it a try. We're just going to try it out see what it's all about. And then... I plan on doing a let's play this game because I've had some requests from some of my subscribers and people who watch me on live streams about this game and just got just so happens it popped up on keymailer.co and got a free copy of it so I'm very excited it's freaking awesome so let's do it let's try it out let's see what we got I'm not sure what the controls are or anything like that but we're gonna pick survival because we're gonna have to avoid dangerous creatures find resources and manage hunger and thirst to survive and it's got three other modes that we could probably try down the road Especially creative mode. That should be interesting. So we're going to start off with survival. Let's go. Loading. Note, the screen may take some minutes to load and may look as if it has crashed during that time. Please be patient. <laughs> well, it does look like a crash. I agree with them. My camera and stuff is showing kind of weird. So there is weird things going on. We'll see what happens. It was a No World's Entertainment presents. All right, I hear crash sequence. Oh, this game looks awesome. Whoa, we got there just in time. Just got her hair burned off. This is a pretty neat looking ship. It's real shiny. Oh. It's getting beat up a little bit though. Whoa! We just got knocked out. We are out like a light. Alright, we are finally awakening and boom, we got we can still get our hair burn off. <laughs> Hit the button, go, go, go. Okay. Extinguish the fire. Let me get that. And I'm assuming that... Okay, right click makes the fire extinguisher do things. Very sensitive uh, camera motions. Whoa. Oh, I'm on fire. I am on fire. I am on fire. Okay. Quit, quit thing. Quit. Stop, stop being on fire. All right, looking at my futuristic iPad here. Emergency mode, boot up. Hello. Okay, so we have some inventory, we have blueprints, so we can make, oh cool, we can build structures, that's going to be handy. We have a voice log, so we can go back and listen to the things that this PDA says to us. The Aurora mining vessel has suffered catastrophic hull failure, cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected in 100 meter range. Time, three hours since planet fall, life pod condition, hull secure, communications offline. All right. Environment, uncharted ocean planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. Water, contamination, high. Reference information has been added to the PDA data bank. Advice will be issued as necessary. Good luck. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need it. How cool we can take photos. That's really neat. Let's we'll see what that's all about. Oh, F11. Let's take a screenshot. Let's look at it. Let's see what we can do with it. Oh, nice. You can add it to Steam from the inside of the game. Done. Screenshot saved. Now I can delete it. Because it's taking up room on my PDA. Got to save room. Let's see here. We got a lot of things going on. Mining vessel overview. Standard two birth emergency life pod. 
equipment, all environment protection suit, and a welcome checklist. Wow, this stuff looks like we need to read it. It's a lot of stuff to read. All right, administer first aid if required, survey the environment, locate other survivors, assess food and water availability, and decide on rations. Check life pod for damage and repair as necessary. Broadcast local distress signal using life pod short range communications relay. Gather and take stock of available materials. Use survival equipment to render the local environment habitable. Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. This, man is, this information is meant as a general guide. All right. Read me. If you are reading this, then you have survived an emergency evacuation of a capital class ship equipped with Altera technology. Congratulations. The hard part is over. PDA has automatically rebooted in emergency mode. This operating system has one purpose to keep you alive. All right. Just tells us a little bit about the PDA. We're going to skip that. Altera AEP suit, single solution for a universe of infinite danger. You're currently wearing the AEP suit. How does it know? Hermetically sealed personal environment designed to withstand the most extreme conditions in the known universe. Onboard temperature and hydration regulation compatible with a range of modifications for particular environments. Slimline build, biometric sensors, AEP suits should always be equipped before life pod launch. Okay. Now we... Detecting increased uh -oh. local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained. We might be in trouble. <laughs> to monitor. All right, so we might not need to read this right now. We're going to go ahead and we've got the idea. We got the idea. Oh no, not that. I hit escape, but didn't get me out of it. Tab is what takes us out of it. Okay, tab. Fuel, one hundred percent. Let's climb the ladder. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Look at the hat. How do you select the other inventory? I guess the numbers. Okay, the numbers. All right, one, two, three, four, and five will let us select our items. Oh, that's a cool looking bird, man. Shoot it. <laughs> okay. Let's get back in here for just a second, see if there's anything we need to get. Damage communications relay, use welder to repair. I need to get that thing, I believe. Medical kit fabricator opening. Pick up first aid kit, done. Warning, multiple errors detected in life pod power system. Circuitry test failed. Systems offline. Power cells one, two, three, online. Self-charging power cells, so I can take those? Or do I not? Nope, doesn't let me take them. I need to get the welder. Resources. Advanced materials, basic materials, and electronics. So we can... Titanium. Oh man, a lot of things to make. Water. We gotta disinfect some water. We gotta get bleach. Personal. So this has tons of things to do. We're gonna be getting a lot of this stuff. Um... As we play, I think. It's going to be a lot of a learning as we go type of deal. So this is a good way for us to do it. Just doing a little first impression video first. And then we'll start a Let's Play of this. Probably in about a week because I want to try it out. Make sure I know what I'm doing before I decide to do Let's Play. Okay, I guess we can dive off in the water here. Oh, this looks awesome. Life pods are equipped with fabricator program to construct tools and render organic substances edible. Can I get in? How do I sit? How do I go down? I want to go down. So I can get in. Oh, I can get in from underneath the water. Let's we'll see if we can get on the ship. Get some supplies off of this dude. The water looks sweet. The graphics in this game are beautiful. I will give it that. That is amazing. The ship burning in the water. I'm really liking this. So let's see if we can go over and put some of this fire out. We can go a little faster here. Well, now we're going a little slow. But it's kind of it's kind of a neat first person experience. It really is a beautiful game. Oh, that is an awesome looking moon. Look how close it is. Oh, it's like, uh, 
Broadcasting of automated short-range distress signal. Field off pod communications relay offline. That's not good. Reminds me of uh, Majora's Mask with the moon crashing down on the Earth. That moon's a lot creepier than that, the one on this game. Ugh, that moon... I eat something. I don't have any food, bro. I'm trying to get over here to the... Sh Apparently, I'm not supposed to do that. Yep, yeah, not supposed to be over here right now. Because I'm dying. I think I'm going to die. I did. It killed me. I <laughs> respawned back in the ship. Okay, so what am I not seeing? What, I, I, did I not go through everything? Nope. Look at that. Open storage container. Nutrient block. There's some food. Can we stack them? Nope, cannot stack them. Flare. Multi-realizable underwater light source. Okay. Filtered water. Got Alright, so we got stuff. Probably just need to take one of each of the food and water and the flare in case we get killed. I'm not sure if you lose your items or not. So let's go ahead and put some of this stuff in the inventory space. I think. Nighttime approaches. So we gotta find a lot of materials. Very curious as how to, we're supposed to do that. Alright, so I got a flare. I gotta find a welder. I know I've seen like a trailer of this game. There's this little device you have. I guess that's the welder. Oh, look at this. We can't get over there because of radiation. Let's go down to the water and see what's down here. Oh, is that a... What is that? Some stuff. That's some stuff. That came off the ship. Pick up metal salvage. Awesome. You can dig in the sand. What does that do for us? Dig me a little hole. <laughs> I'm going to sleep down here tonight. Alright, let's move out of here. Oh, this is awesome. This is this game's worth getting just to... Uh, Ten seconds of oxygen uh, remaining. Wow, you do not have much oxygen. Gotta be careful of that. Gonna drown. This game's worth getting just for the graphics. I mean, this is amazing. How do I break it? Uh, just use the flare. Did not mean to. Alright, I've dug out the limestone, but I don't know how to break it. Oh, here's some more salvage. Let's go get all the salvage we can see. It's a big chunk of metal. This guy's very strong. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's neat. We better go up. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be some dangerous critters running around here, too. Let's go back into the pod. And see if we can do anything with this metal. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's dry core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases. Wow, she's re. She talks a lot. Alright. Beacon, waterproof locker, grass sphere, resources, basic materials. What's with electronics? That's probably got our welder in there somewhere, right? No? Titanium? Oh, I can make titanium. Awesome. So titanium is going to be handy for us. So we'll turn all this salvage metal into titanium. Now we can make ingots. I like this. This is very cool. We're going to have a lot of fun with this game. Bleach. Salt deposit, common coral sample. Now I need some tools. 
equipment. O2 tank. Need some glass fins. Need some rubber. Got the radiation suit blueprint. Just need some fiber mesh lead plate. Steel suit. Is there any of the stuff we can make? No. Tools. Scanner. A handheld spectroscope scanner for recording atomic level information on targeted entities. Welder. Alright, so there's the welder. This is the scanner. I think that's what I saw in the videos of the scanner. So we need to make a battery. Alright, battery. Where are you? Thought we could make one. Where did I see a battery a while ago? We need acid mushroom times two and copper ore. I guess I cannot make a battery. So we need to find some copper. Alright, well let us... Get out of this machine. Let's go back down into the water here and see what we can find. I'm gonna see if I can break this limestone. Oh! There we go. I just wasn't clicking the right thing. There's a specific place. Pick up copper ore. Yes! Oh, what is this? Quartz. Noise. Ho! Oh! Holy crap! That was scary. That jumped right out at me. Alright, let's go back and make a battery. We're gonna make that battery. Alright. Fabricator. We need to go to electronics. Battery. Oh! I need acid mushroom. I need acid mushroom. Dang. Okay, well, let's go back in the water then. There's bound to be an acid mushroom somewhere. What is this? Is this? That's where I dug a hole. Okay. Mushroom, mushroom. I need an acid mushroom. What was this stuff? Writhing weed. Dig sand. What is this? What's this growing over here? Is this an acid mushroom? Or jellyfish. Pick up floater. Oh, that's cool. What does it do? I don't know. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, we got to find an acid mushroom. Is this maybe this is them? Yes. We get a bunch of them. Collecting all the mushrooms. We're going to fill our inventory up with mushrooms. We're going to have a pizza later. We're going to make a pizza. An ocean pizza. All right, let's go make us a scanner. I like this. This game is cool. I am loving this. You've got to get this game, guys. I'm telling you. I will be playing this a lot. There's going to be a Let's Play coming soon. All right, electronics, battery. Make us a battery. Alright, now we need to go to personal tools. Time to make a scanner. Sweet! A handheld spectroscope scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Cool. Alright, what else? Do, okay, what do we need for a welder? Magnesium, crash powder, and titanium. We need to get that very soon. That needs to be our next goal here. Let's see what we can find. Um, let's get the scanner out too. Let's play with it. Can we scan the fish? Let me scan the fish. Searching. Scan it. Gotta keep it right on there. Come on, scan him. Oh, that's neat. Didn't get a good scan on him, though. Emergency. Ten seconds oh. of oxygen. <laughs> we lost track of time. We're dying. All right, back down. Let's go. Let's try to scan something that's not moving. How about that?
It's gonna be hard for us to scan that fish. He moves around too much. All right, we're searching. How long does it take to search? Ooh, there's some quartz. Ooh, more salvage. We need that. Okay, it didn't really care to tell us anything about that floater. It's a floater! We're gonna get some oxygen tank upgrades, man. Alright, let's see if we can make our way... consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. What is that thing? Holy jeez. A gasopod. Hey, they creepy looking dude. We gotta scan him. Come on, finish scan. Got it. Ooh, what's this stuff? Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. He does not like us. He farted in our general direction. He definitely did that. Holy wow. This game is insane. Emergency. This game is insane. I'm really enjoying this game. Rabbit Ray. All right, let's get back to the pod for a minute, because I think we're going to have to end our episode here. It's going to be kind of the first impression video. The next one I do will be of a Let's Play. We're going to really get after it. Now that we kind of know what we're doing, we can jump right into it next time when we start our official Let's Play. Oh, we got another medical kit in here. Nice. All right, guys. Well, this is Subnautica. I am very, very happy I got to play this. Thank you to the developer again for allowing me to have a key to play it for free. For you guys here on YouTube, I really do appreciate it. And thank you for the guys who have recommended this game to me out there on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to a Let's Play very soon because this game is very fun. And I'm glad you guys mentioned this game. Alright, well if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And leave me a comment down below if you have anything to say. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button right down below this video. And my name is Tonic. This has been Subnautica. A first impression here on Bang Bang Potato. We'll see you on the next one.